All right, I got another 22 WMR, 22 Magnum gel test for you here today. Ignore these wound channels back here. This were, those were from the previous video. Um, we got here Federal Spear TNT Hollow Point. Uh, I'm used to seeing these in the CCI packages. Uh, Spear is CCI, but these are Federal, but they're loaded with that Spear TNT bullet. Never actually uh, owned shot these. They have a very large gaping hollow point there. Looks kind of like a gold dot, honestly, which makes sense because Spear makes the gold dot. Um, so my understanding is those are very rapid expansion, if not fragmenting. Uh, so we're gonna have shallow penetration on those, I expect, with a very large expansion, if not fragmentation. Uh, I'll get the advertised velocity on that in a second. And this isn't even really comparable. I just didn't feel like doing two separate videos for these. So we're also throwing in these uh, Remington AccuTips. I found these interesting because I really like the Hornady uh, XTP, the ballistic tip. The Hornady ones with the red tips are 30 grain, advertised 2,200 feet a second. But these are a 33 grain ballistic tip, but they're only advertised at 2,000 feet per second. So put those through the block, see how they perform. Again, I have tested the Hornady's and a bunch of others. Check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist on the channel uh, for a ton of rimfire gel test videos, long range shooting reviews and whatnot. Uh, these are advertised, okay, 2200 feet per second. So, be using uh, Nox 10% ballistics gelatin. Calibration's a little light today, coming in right at four inches. The maximum allowable penetration with the BB test uh, for 10% Nox ballistic gelatin is 3.75 inches, and we're right at four inches. So we are a hair over on uh, my previous test here. It did not seem to affect the wound channels, the cavities there. However, we will get a little extra penetration due to the block being a little thin. Um, so just deduct about an inch overall penetration uh, due to our calibration today. If we were within, within spec, we would get about a, one inch less penetration, but it does not seem to be affecting the wound channels. From what I've seen in my previous tests, these look good. Um, so whatever we get here in the cavity is going to be pretty accurate, but we'll just get about an inch of over penetration due to the uh, calibration today. Uh, so we've got a fresh one here for the catch block. I don't think we're going to get very much penetration. We'll probably come somewhere around here or, or shallower because, uh, again, these are going to have like rapid expansion. At least they should. So there's our previous test. So um, I just have here where I had to stick my fingers in and retrieve the bullets from the previous test. So for the most part, we got a nice clear block here. I don't think they're going to go that far, but we got a good 10 inches here of uh, fresh block to send these into. All right, rifle I'm using today is my Rossi RS22M. It's got a 21-inch barrel. It's semi-automatic. Put a link in the description and a review video on that if you want to check it out. So I'll get you guys set up on the cooler here, and we'll get started. I will do that Federal first with the Spear TNT bullet, and then we'll do the Remington AccuTip ballistic tip for the second shot. Wow, that is Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. I would say from back here it looked real impressive because that is just giant. I did not, well, I didn't know what to expect, but looks like zero penetration. Yeah, wow. Holy crap. It's just immediate explosion. That's worse than a 17 HMR because 17 HMR, I still get like six, seven inches um, minimum if not better, depending on the load. And we only got like less than four inches of penetration there. But man, that definitely is explosive. I'm definitely gonna play with that round shooting some different things because that is a highly explosive round. That's ridiculous. So don't expect any penetration with those. And if you were to shoot like a groundhog or something with that and you hit the shoulder bone, it is not gonna kill him. It's just gonna wound his arm because once it hits that bone, it ain't going nowhere. All right, now that's about what I expected from this one. Um, comparable to the Hornady ballistic tip I mentioned, that's similar results. I think the Hornady's, I can't remember for sure, the penetration I think was a little more shallow than that. It may not have been. You guys will have to watch the video. But So that's what we got with the Accu tip there, the Remington. We'll get measurements on this, retained weight and all that, and try to pluck out what's left of them to examine. 
But there's your two over top with this obviously being that TNT and then this the AccuTip here. I gotta say, and much like the Hornady version, this is almost as explosive as that TNT, but you're going to get a lot more penetration there, so. Alright, so on the TNT, yeah, we're just past three and a quarter there. We didn't even get three and a half inches of penetration. And then with that AccuTip, we're coming in right at eight inches. It depends on how I hold the camera, but I'm seeing eight inches, so. All right, so this is all that's left of that TNT, just a little sliver there. That was the furthest piece. And then here is your AccuTip, which is pretty freaking mangled as well. But at least there's a little bit of slug off there over there. So for what it's worth, we'll get a retained weight measurement. Uh, this is a reloader scale, so it's very uh, sensitive and it's windy. So if you see it flicker out here today, that's why the wind does affect it. I don't even know if it'll, it should pick that up, yeah. 4.2 grains, 3.9, see it's flickering because of the wind. That's all that was left of that TNT. And then the AccuTip, we got just about 22 grains there left. I can't get that to really hold that teeny tiny sliver there, so I just kind of set it there with about 34. Um, this thing's going to be pretty big because it's like oval shaped there. <clears throat> Thirty nine point three nine two, so thirty nine caliber expanded diameter. So that about does it then, there, guys. Uh, I will have longer range tests on some of these coming up. You guys have been hounding me to do like hundred yard tests and whatnot. I will have those coming up this fall. Uh, it's a little more difficult for me to do those because I can't do that here on the private range down at the rifle range. Uh, so I'm dependent on my uh, buddy's backyard range that he has. I get out there about once a month. So that's why uh, it's a little more difficult for me to run those. But I will have some of those coming up this fall. Again, check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist for way more rimfire gel tests. Not just 22 mag, but 22 long rifle and 17 HMR. Of course, I have firearm reviews in there as well. Some long range shooting. So check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist. If you want to get yourself any of the products you see me using the videos like my shooting bag down there I'm using as a prop right now uh, the scale caliper uh, even the the mix I use for the Knox ballistics gelatin all that and more links in the description appreciate you all for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one